was like, thank you. And I was like, my pleasure. <laughs> it was sweet. Um, well, thanks guys for coming out. I'm Joel Costa. <laughs> Uh, this is awesome. I'd like to say thank you to the people that stuck around after Cody set. I was going to do a joke with the F word in it, but he already stole it. <laughs> I I'd like to get your girlfriend's number if that's cool. <laughs> I think I got a place next to Schmeagle. <laughs> I'm a spelunker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Um, I have like the shittiest luck with girls. Um, because they don't like me. <laughs> it's fucked up. No, um, I started internet dating and stuff. Listen. I apologize. That was like the gay, um, like submissive comic voice. I don't want to do that anymore. It betrays that I don't have any confidence when I really do, because I'm sort of professional. Not really. Um, you, I'm kind of famous, though. You guys might have seen me at Albertsons. <laughs> yeah, I was in that one. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I started internet dating, um, <laughs> and uh, I got a little profile and stuff, and um, I found this cute little girl, and I was going to take her out, and I decided I was going to meet up with her, so I met her at Buffalo Wild Wings, you guys, which was a huge, <laughs> huge mistake, because <laughs> it was Wednesday night, and it's wing night, <laughs> and I was at the bar, and I... Sent her a text. I was like, where are you? And she's like, I'm at the door. Except I didn't say that because it was a text message. And so pretty much just said, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't see her. And so I walked up, you know, to the entryway. I was like, where are you? And I sent her a text and I heard it ring. And her phone was in the palm of this beast. <laughs> And so the only thing that I could figure out was that this beast ate my future girlfriend. <laughs> and so I looked at the beast and I said, Don't worry, baby. <laughs> I'm going to get you out of there. <laughs> you got like eight seconds, so you start getting brain damage. <laughs> I grabbed a spork. <laughs> I tried to cut her out. And that was gross. <laughs> so I got one of those wet wipes that they have there, you know, with those cute little phrases on there. And I cleaned off my hands and the Parmesan garlic sauce and my shame. <laughs> and I took that bitch home. <laughs> That's not a true story, but I saw her at the karaoke bar. <laughs> I got a witness. That bitch was busted. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was like, <laughs> there's Chaba. <laughs> she made eye contact with me. I was uncomfortable. Something else that made me uncomfortable was Bozeman. I got duded like three times today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I saw this chick that had pretty nice legs and stuff and like a really great Adam's apple. <laughs> She was singing the Zach Brown band over at Santa Fe Reds. <laughs> I was like, <"Whoa." laughs> And then I saw someone that looked like Art Garfunkel, you know, wearing a nice purple blouse. <laughs> my, <Sorry>. my blowjob. <laughs> uh, so you guys, um, I work at such a shitty furniture store. It's way worse than Walmart. So um, I got this idea. I'm going to start my own business. Yeah. And um, sir, shut the fuck up. Thank you. It's okay. I was about to tell a joke, and that was going to be funny. And you, you don't want me to introduce you. 
So, I'm going to start my own business. You guys, I had this great idea. I'm going to start manufacturing huge clocks for all those guys who always wanted a huge clock. I'm going to start out like 13 and a half inches and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to put really small hands on them, too. <laughs> small hands make your clock look huge. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Billings sucks, dude. I, I, uh, I'm from Billings, and I just moved there from Denver. And it's so boring, so I try to do things to keep myself occupied. Um, one of the things I like to do, I go to Home Depot to the paint department, and I pick out some different colored cock and like brown cock and yellow cock and waterproof tub and tile and sink cock and um <laughs> it's not really the funny part but I get all these different colors of cock and um I go to the cash register and she's like sir did you find everything all right like, yeah anything else for you I'm like no just the colored cock <laughs> The funny part is when I go to return it, <laughs> they're like, well, um, was there anything wrong with the caulk? <laughs> Say it right, bitch. <laughs> it's cock. <laughs> you know, walk with your wife, you know? <laughs> you don't talk. You don't bulk about it, you know? It's cock, so say it right, bitch. <laughs> so I go to return it, and she's like, well, what's the reason? And I tell her, well, I was dissatisfied because, for one thing, the black cock doesn't perform any different <laughs> than the white cock. And for the record, it's the same size. <laughs> That's just a myth. So I go to Albertsons, and uh, completely different story. <laughs> go to the pharmacy department, you know, and they pick me out some Aveeno moisturizing lotion, some Moisturel, and some Lubriderm, and some, man, you can stop me anytime. <laughs> and uh, I go to the, ca you know, the checkout, and this bitch is looking like me, I'm like, I'm just buying a self-rape kit. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> well, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Sir, do you have your preferred card? <laughs> It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, it puts the fucking lotion in the basket. It does this whenever it's time. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to, and you're gonna have to talk to my manager. <laughs> it shuts the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, and that's what's called bailing on a joke. <laughs> I, I was like, I was there and I was like, wait, it's going too fast, I shouldn't jump off, but then I did. <laughs> Fucking hurry, man. Skin my knees and shit. Yeah. Where'd the talking guy go? I was gonna bash him next. Not a material. What do you guys want to talk about? Anal sex? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Strippers? I got something for you. You know how um, these big gangster motherfuckers, you know, they're like, ooh, I'm gonna go to a strip club, you know, make it rain on some hoes. Well, I like to change my dollar bills into dimes and make it hell on some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's improv night. Go, 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 go. Say something else. <laughs> we got strippers. Oh, this is dark. I like that one, huh? It's cute. Oh, socks suck. Dump that bitch. <laughs> oh, I have this stork, you guys. Um, and he brings me stuff. Like, it's so beautiful. Like, I put $50 in my mailbox and then. Two hours later, the stork brings me, like, the best pot in Montana. <laughs> and 
I never met the dude. I, I think he's the postal carrier, you know? <laughs> Super disgruntled. He's like, I don't get paid shit. I'm gonna start selling sour diesel. <laughs> and this stork, dude, Phil, I'm not ready for this. Um, <laughs> we talk to the stork, and the stork says, Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! We have this code, like, the people I work with, man, like, just unspoken. Ooh! I work in sales, and there's a rule that you're supposed to qualify people early and often. That's the rule, early and often. I think the same thing about pot. <laughs> you must all early and often. <laughs> all in the morning. <laughs> Stork talk. Woo! Woo! <laughs> brain China. It's my mind penis in your brain China. <laughs> Dude, I have this friend. <laughs> He's so completely borderline mentally ill, like that you don't know what the fuck he is talking about ever. Like he just goes off random, like, and I'm not sure if he's high, like, or if he's talking to storks or what. But <laughs> he's like, yeah. And then so there's two people, and then there's one, and then. <laughs> Restarts the conversation. You guys are gonna have to see my long funny set to hear that joke. <laughs> How am I doing? Scale of one to ten, bombing. Five? Ten. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's like five squared. <laughs> Not very good with the math. Well, something else. I had some paper, and then I lost it. Because the stork came. And really, to be honest with you, I'm still thinking about that fucking chimichanga, dude. It was so good. Do you know what's false advertising? Nursing homes. <laughs> that is not a great place to breastfeed. <laughs> uh, but you guys, I found the source of powdered milk. <sighs> oh, and just add water. <laughs> this bitch had titties. I'm pretty sure that they were 36 double D's, but when she unrolled them, they were like 36 extra longs. <laughs> Stick <'em. laughs> Stick Oh, that's sick. It is so true. I'm fucking desperate, you guys. I'm not even lying. Like, I am now accepting herpes, syphilis, AIDS, like full-blown kind, <laughs> HIV, like whatever, genital warts. And you're like, why, Joel? Like, because they necessitate intercourse. <laughs> and that's something that I would like to do with my life soon. You know that or I'm gonna have to become a monk and start brewing that dark beer. It's the absence of vagina that makes amber ales really good. <laughs> I didn't write any of this stuff down. <laughs> you guys are lucky because you get to see it for the first time ever. What was I talking about? Oh, how fucking pathetic my life is. Yeah. Um, intercourse is cool. It's a word that you don't hear very often, you know. It kind of reminds me of NASCAR. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Intercourse 500 was brought to you tonight by Bud Light and Jägermeister. It's here for our, uh, our sponsors. <laughs> this is going to be a short race with only one winner. <laughs> oh, there was a wreck at an early evacuation. <laughs> <laughs> There's tow trucks, people. <laughs> Listen, you don't watch them to see them go over the finish line. <laughs> We're here for Rex. <laughs> uh, 
Um, everybody else talked about their penis. <laughs> that fucking sucks. Like, that was the bulk of my material, really. Ladies and gentlemen, my junk. Vagina caverns. <laughs> Siemens tights. I can't fucking beat that. I hate you. <laughs> Loser. Yeah, um... I was gonna say something. <laughs> Did you guys see Zach? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then the lips of her vagina just slam shut. <laughs> I don't really have a joke for that, but I just always wanted to use it as a punchline. <laughs> I suck at life. <laughs> no, seriously. I just got my truck um, reprocessed. Re, um, well, I got it taken away. <laughs> so apparently, the bank, um, after four months of you not paying them, they want their shit back. <laughs> so I'm driving my mom's truck. Um, and she has permanent Montana plates that say Kiss and Kate. It wasn't hard enough for me to take a girl home. Imagine that. She's like, his Kate. It's my mom. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> and she signs onto her Facebook and deletes me like right on the spot. <laughs> we can't even be Facebook friends. No, you're not really that stable. <laughs> yeah. My roommate's such a bitch. I was watching YouTube on Friday night, because I'm a loser. And she was making, like, foreplay sounds in there and shit. Just like, you know, like, pre-foreplay, like... <laughs> Stop it! You know, like... Like the pre play, you know, like small giggles, like, you know, something's about to be up. And I was like, Mom! <laughs> Mom, knock that shit up! <laughs> Cook me some dinner. Like I said, my roommate's a bitch. Well, now what? Am I sucking? Yeah, I'm a huge... 13 inch clocks. <laughs> um, you guys, the most fucked up thing happened to me. Um, my car was broken into. And I don't know if any of you have um, actually gotten into your car. How many break ins? Like, anybody gone to their car and they're like, wow, fuck, I just feel like I got raped by some guy named Bubba? Well, I felt very violated. Because apparently someone had broken into my car, and they parked it like shit all over my lawn, and they had destroyed Taco Bell, and it was all over everything. Like, I mean, there was chalupa grease on my mirror, and the steering wheel, and there's fucking those little packets all over the place. So that sucked. And then apparently the same son of a bitch track that shit into my house and into my bedroom. <laughs> on a completely unrelated note, have you guys ever had food on your face so long that you thought you might get food poisoning? <laughs> <laughs> I never found out who did that shit. It was me. Yeah, so it was me. <laughs> I was so fucked up that I parked my car like shit and destroyed Taco Bell. Have you ever pulled up at three in the morning <laughs> and like you think you're about to rob this fucking place? Because you have three dollars. <laughs> You just puked in your mouth a little bit. <laughs> and you're like, burrito supremes are only 99 cents. <laughs> Should I be wearing a mask and having a gun? <laughs> I'm about to take this fucking place. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. They always end up fucking you over, though. You know, you end up spending $37 on Taco Bell and they give you four sauces. You're like, I want fire and the green stuff, and they only give you the green stuff. These fat bastards. I fucking hate lettuce, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that shit's weak. Um, I was going to tell you something. I've never worn sandals on stage before, and it's making me feel pretty naked. <laughs> Um, so, does anybody else want? Does anybody else have anything to talk about before I go home tonight? Please, <laughs> please. I drove all the way to boat from Billings to see you guys. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's Annex. <laughs> um. So, you guys, this is the thought I'm gonna leave you on. Um, recently, um, I actually took a trip. Uh, I went to the moon with a couple of hookers. <laughs> and, um, we went bowling. It's a true story. There was some, uh, Russian, um, guys there. And then... <laughs> I reset the conversation. It's almost like it didn't happen. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting live comedy. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Come see us again. It gets better and better. I swear to God. Thank you. Go Pops, everybody! One more time for Brian Coons, Fallon Walker, Mark Mulcahy, Cody Sachs, Hunter.